to talk about something that I'm interested in as a human being, okay? Now, I don't know if you, a lot of you know this, I'm sure you know it, but I'm a big, <laughs> I'm really into astronomy. I love astronomy. I, I think that's been well established. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. that's my thing. Yeah, thank you, Andy, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, recently, I was perusing one of my many astronomy news feeds, and uh, a certain story caught my eye. This is true. I thought this was really interesting. A big space crash likely made Uranus lopsided, <laughs> which I thought was an interesting story. I, I did not know that Uranus was lopsided. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, apparently, apparently it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, everyone, that's, uh, that's Tony. It's uh, one of our cameramen. Tony, what's so funny? <laughs> Come on. Uranus. <laughs> that's right, Tony. Scientists say that it's lopsided. <laughs> okay, so let me get this straight, Conan. You're telling me that Uranus is lopsided? <laughs> yes, it, it is. It sure is, Tony, according to the article, and I'm, I'm as surprised as you are by this. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, hold on just a sec here. <laughs> I know I ain't exactly the brightest bulb in the toolbox. <laughs> but you're telling me that your anus, your anus. <laughs> yeah, Tony? Which, up until now, have been thought to be completely symmetrical. <laughs> is, in fact, lopsided? That's right, Tony, your anus is lopsided. What'd you say about my anus? <laughs> No, no, Tony, we're talking about Uranus, the planet. My anus ain't no planet. You take that back. Uh, no one is calling Uranus a planet, Tony. Calm down. You calm down, Richter. I will not stand here and let him call my anus a lopsided planet. I have a great, I have a great anus. Tony, Tony, Tony. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I, I said about Uranus. OK. No problem, Conan. But uh, do me a favor. Can you just, you know, say the thing? Yes, Tony. My anus is lopsided. <laughs> <laughs> this segment brought to you by the Double Entendre Council of America. Additional funding provided by the Quig and Berries Foundation, Siemens Spotted Dick, Dolores Muncher's Warehouse of Petrified Wood and Pitched Tents. Salamis, that's right, just salamis in general. The Georgia O'Keeffe Museum and Penis and Boobies International. I'm very proud of myself.